Welcome to Full Plate Diet TV. I'm Dr. Diana Fleming, co-author of The Full Plate Diet, and in this episode, I want to talk to you about the chemistry of fiber and water. Now, I'm not talking about the kind of chemistry in a chemistry class. I'm talking about the kind of chemistry as in attraction, the attraction between fiber and water. And I'm going to use a very simple illustration of a dry sponge. Now we're shooting this episode at an unusual angle so that you can see what I'm going to do and not have my head cut off while we're making the video. <laughs> so I'm going to put this dry sponge in this little dish and pour water over it. And look, before I even do, you know what's going to happen. This dry sponge just is going to love this water. It is going to absorb this water to itself. It, it can't help itself. It's just going to take all the water to itself until it's completely saturated. It's looking pretty good there. <laughs> okay. That is how fiber is in our digestive tract. It loves water like this dry sponge loves water. Oh, look, it's, it absorbed it all. So the, the fiber loves the water like this dry sponge um, loves water. That has great benefit, helps us be regular, helps us in, regulate the process of digestion. But here's why I'm making a video about this. Here's why I'm stressing this. Because if you increase fiber from fiber-rich foods, you need to increase your water intake to replace the water that the fiber is taking from the supply, the general supply in the body. And listen, the fiber that the water is absorbing is not water that's sitting around doing nothing. It's not water that isn't needed by the body. The body needs a lot of water. In fact, we're about 70% water, and that is that water is critical for the healthy functioning of the body, for all the chemical reactions going on. So if you're eating more fiber from fiber-rich foods and it's taking that water, you need to be replenishing the water in the body by drinking more water. And I'm not talking about drinking it all at meals. Actually, if you drink too much water with your meals, you're going to slow down the process of digestion. So you actually want to increase your water intake throughout the day. Have a couple cups when you first get up in the morning before breakfast. Have another two to three cups between breakfast and lunch. Have another two to three cups between lunch and supper. And then maybe a glass in the evening. Not too much water in the evening or you'll be up more times in, at night than you want to. But listen, if you increase fiber and you don't increase your water intake, you are going to be more likely constipated, dehydrated, and both of these things are going to um, cause you to feel more fatigued, tired. And you know, who wants to feel tired? You want energy to carry out the actions of the day. And you know, water is a very simple, common solution to fatigue that many, many people overlook. So, don't forget, as you increase fiber-rich foods, increase your water. Thank you for watching our Full Plate Diet TV episode. We'll see you next time.